were with Dr. Aguilera this morning. Okay. And we really liked the layout of number four. Oh, okay, cool. Um, yes, this layout, but he actually um, wants the colors to be more of like the not so earthy. Okay. Is that a possibility. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We have complete control over color palette, font style, navigation structure, everything. So if you is, – is there a color scheme in one of the other mock-ups that you prefer, or is there a different color scheme altogether that you want? Um, you know, like we uh, liked kind of that taupey gray color with this one, but we wanted to add maybe some blue. Okay, so the background is the taupey gray that you're talking about here? Yes. Okay, so that's okay. And then maybe changing the dark brown to a blue? Yeah. Okay. Hold on one sec. Dr. Aguilar is here, so I'm going to put you on speaker. Okay. Hello, hello. Okay, if uh, you can hear me, I can't hear anybody. Hello? Hello? Oh, Megan. How are you doing, Lisa? Good, good. Lisa's on the line. Megan just came on. So they Hi, just Lisa. put... Okay, Megan, I'm going to mute you because there's a lot of sound in the background there. Sure. Okay, Lisa, can you hear me okay? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, great. So Megan's going to listen in on the call, and then she'll okay. pick up notes from our conversation afterwards. So, Okay, are you on speaker now? I am not. I, I don't know. For some reason, it's not when I push speaker. Let me try one more time. Hello? Yeah, I'm here. All right. Can you hear us now, Kendall? Yes, I can. There we go. Hey, boy. How you doing, bud? Really good. How are you? I'm good. Sure how was your... Bye. <laughs> yeah. How was your 4th of July? Good. Yeah, that's... no problem. Too much fun. Oh, well, that's a good problem to have. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Kendall, so... Um... We'll let Lisa handle most of this because she's more tech savvy than anybody in the office. So you guys can go ahead and start communicating. Yeah, that's great. No, she was doing a great job of filling us in on kind of what your preferences are for this uh, mock-up number four. So that's great. Okay. Good. Go ahead. Okay. Um. And then let's see here. Um. Okay. So that's the. Layout on the on the second one. Yep. We like how it said "Welcome to Corona Del Mar Dental" in the front on the bottom. Oh, this one here. Yes. Okay. And then he really likes that picture of our patient on the right to be on the front of the other one. I know that the pictures don't mean anything yet. Okay. Um, and then, let's see, oh, I don't know, did Janine forward you, we had a new kind of logo instead of for the top left corner that said Cronin Del Mar Dental Group, um, we're kind of trying to phase out of the group and just be Cronin Del Mar Dental. Yeah, if you have a new one that you want us to use, absolutely, we can change that easy. That's not a problem. So if you can give us the original uh, PSD file, which is typically what oh. it's done in, but whatever you like, um, I think it was like a zip file. I couldn't open it. Yeah, just go ahead and forward it to us, and we'll let you know if we have what we need out of there. But that should include it, I'm sure. Yeah. Is there anything else? Mostly the color, color scheme and then the logo. I think that was the main. Now, are the blues in mock-up two kind of the blues that you'd like on the mock-up four? Um, kind of like how the, the icon colors, we didn't like how bright that one was. 
Okay, so a little more subdued, not quite as uh, bold. Yeah. Okay. Where'd you get these pictures, Kendall? Just get them off the internet? We actually have a subscription to a service. There's actually a couple of different ones. You can go to um, uh, iPhoto is one. There's the Dollar Photo Club, which is another. Um, iStockPhoto.com is another one. And they all have some pretty interesting uh, dental-related photos. So, yeah, they look pretty nice. Okay. We want a lot of our own work in there, you know. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So these purely placeholders. So if you have, you know, specific images that you want us to use, absolutely tell us, you know, which ones you want to use and where, and uh, we'll definitely put them in there. So all of these right now are just placeholders to, you know, give you an idea of, you know, overall template layout, the navigation structure. So like on this page on mock-up four, you can see these four little dots down here that reflects that this whole section is actually a photo gallery and it will automatically scroll through three or four right now it's got four pictures so we need to have you know four pictures in here this right now is just a static you know H, uh, static graphic image but when we get it to the html this will actually be an animated section of the home page so it'll slide through different pictures based on you know how many we want to put in there so whatever pictures you want to put up here absolutely let us know and we'll load those up easy as pie Okay, sounds great. Okay. And then we're going to have the, it's going to be separate than the photo gallery, than the, uh, the photo gallery up there on the, on the home page. Correct. Different than the smile, smile gallery. So the smile gallery will focus on, uh, pa after. yeah, patient photographs before and after. Um, we'd love to, again, we talked about, you know, definitely focusing in on more video. So also we can add part of the smile gallery, we can have a video gallery as well if you're able to start put, putting uh, patient video testimonials together. Oh, yeah. Well, we have, yeah, we have the one for Yelp. We can always do another one, yeah. Yep. Okay, sounds good. And then I think that's the part that says new patient seminar with our specialist. Yeah, and apologize for the spelling on those couple spell, spelling errors. So we'll definitely... <laughs> It's not a spatialist, it's a specialist. <laughs> no problem. We were just thinking if maybe we could just write, like, welcome to Corona Del Mar Dental. In that bar instead of doing the new patient seminar? Yes. Yeah, we can absolutely do that. So you like, in mock-up two, you like this welcome to Corona Del Mar, and so we can put that wording in the bar that says new patient seminar. Yes. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we can do that for sure. Okay. And obviously we can, you know, make this, uh, so you like this kind of topish grayish background, but where it's the dark brown, we'll turn that to a softer blue. Yes. Okay. So, so the, and then if we could take out the gold too. Yeah. Um, I just didn't want the earth tone. The earth tone takes me back to uh, 20 years ago. Totally understand that. Yep. So not a problem. We can go, you know, we have a lot of flexibility in, you know, however you want it done. So we've got, you know, bolder colors, primary colors. We can go softer, you know, um, fuzzier colors that are not quite as bold. This one has, you know, more of the sky blue background. Um, so we can definitely tone down the colors, carry that forward. But if there's elements out of any one of them that you like, we can definitely, you know, pull those up here. So we can turn this form into a light blue that'll be complementary to the darker blue that we do here. Okay. Yeah, give it a try, sure. Okay. Yeah, so the basic elements in, in what's called the first fold, right, before having to scroll down, this is the second fold, and that's the bottom fold. So the first fold, we want to be able to hit them with you know, basically inspire, educate, and engage. So the inspiration is the photo gallery that they'll, you know, get their information and they'll understand, you know, who you are. They can call the phone number, which is up there. And we should talk about, you know, whether you want to have a dedicated phone number just for the website so that you know that it's not coming from any other marketing activities. Um, and do you have multiple numbers? Do you have the ability to designate just one number for the website? Well, we've got four lines, but there's you know, one, one, 
have we have to have three because one is uh, facts, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so if you have the ability to answer a dedicated number so you know that if they're calling that number, they are coming from the website, that would you know help you track results and make sure that you know that that's a prospect coming in off the website. Dedicated number, I'll have to check into that. I don't, I don't, who do we have, the phone company or what? You can, or you can go to, there's an independent vendor called CallSource. If you go to callsource.com, they have a relatively inexpensive service that in addition to giving you um, a dedicated phone number, they also can do call recording um, so that you can you know, evaluate how the calls are being answered. You can look at results. You can go back and you know, use it as training to say, okay, we want to standardize or change the way we answer questions or that kind of stuff. So it's a really valuable service that's, I don't know, I think it's like 30 bucks a month or something. All right, we'll check callforce.com. Uh, call source, so C A L L S is in Sam O U R C E. Call source dot com. And one thing in our verbiage, remember we're changing this to pronoun or dental, John and Aguilera. So instead of saying our doctors, it's going to be Doctor Aguilera when we're when we're writing any scripts. Absolutely, D definitely got that. Now, one of the things that we want to make sure. We're going to naturally be branding your name, um, okay. and but the keywords. That, so throughout there, we're going to have you know your name as you know Dr. Aguilera, etc. Um, but we're going to be focusing on keywords that are generic. So your name is naturally going to come up throughout the content as you know the owner and the dental practice specialist, etc. But we want to kind of make sure that we're clear on that's going to happen naturally. So we're not going to focus on that as keywords, but it'll be part of the natural content that we build out, obviously, because it's your business. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. Cool. Okay, so I'm, I've got a patient. I've got to run. So any other stuff, go through with, talk with Lisa. Okay, sounds good. Thank you, doctor. Okay, pal. We'll get back to you. After you see. All righty. All right, hi, Kendall. Hey, Lisa. Okay, so, um, yeah, we just liked the layout of this one a lot. It looked, they all looked very good, but this one was really clean. Yeah, it has a nice crisp feel to it, so. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know, I, I know he, we liked like that gray taupe that's in like that telephone sign. Uh-huh. I don't know yep. if that one's a little bit lighter. Okay. Than the other background, but I, yeah, I know he liked that gray, and then I actually really liked that kind of faded blue that you showed us in the other one, where it's kind of the sky blue. This one here. Bold, like you said. Yeah. Yeah. That wasn't. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, we can definitely do that and change up those colors. So we'll go to um, mock-up four as the template, as far as the navigation structure and the wording and the layout, where this yeah. position is for the form. And then the slider gallery for the photos. And then we'll change this new patient seminar to the one that's on mock-up one, which, or no, I'm sorry, mock-up two, which is welcome to Corona Del Mar Dental. So we'll change that out. <coughs> now, what about, yeah. are these we sections like okay on here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that looks great. <coughs> about okay. Perfect. And then if you have, you know, specific photos that you want to replace for any of these, um, you know, just let us know. Okay. And what would be easier for me to help you? Um, I know um, as far as, like you were saying, the pictures were scrolling in here earlier. We were saying, okay, it would be nice to put a cosmetic one and then maybe like an office picture or a staff photo that's scrolling through there. Yes, exactly. Um do you, I mean, how would you like me to give those to you? Um, if you can just send both me and Megan or just Megan an email and saying, you know, here's the, the attached photos, give us the title of the photo, and then say this is to go in the slider gallery. And as it slides through, each picture will link to a different section. So the picture for cosmetic dentistry will click through to the cosmetic dentistry section. The picture about dental implants will click through to the dental implant section. Oh, okay. So if you pick, you know, three or four pictures that relate to those specialty areas 
and tell us mm -hmm. which one you want, and that will link to those specific sections. Okay, and then I have a um, like Dropbox because I know sometimes the files are, lar are larger. Yes, so if you want to share okay. with us that way, that's not a problem. We can pull them down from there. That's fine. Just okay. yep. And then Megan has for any other pictures. Um, Megan has an audio visual or AV form that she'll fill out. So any pictures or video that you send to us, we'll just we'll want to have you know the title identified. We want to know exactly what service is being talked about. We want to have a narrative description if it's talking about you know cosmetic dentistry services and there's pictures in there, or if it's you know the before and after pictures of patients. We want to know you know the services that were done, the kind of the story behind each patient, that kind of thing. Okay. All righty. And then is there, I mean, I don't know as far as like all the writing and stuff, is there anything that you needed from us? Um, not initially. Um, as we look at the old site and pull content over, um, you know, if there's any questions that we have about stuff, um, Megan will let you know if there's pieces of specific content that we need, you know, if we want to add more verbiage or more narrative to, you know, the smile gallery photos for the before and after, she'll definitely let you know that. Or if there are things that, you know, we might want to shore it up or add some more detail, we can, we'll definitely let you know that. Okay. Sounds good. Because I know, um, like from the old website, I know the frequently asked question part, we're going to try and gear it more towards smile design. I think the one on the old website is all geared toward um, teeth whitening. Oh, okay, yeah. So we can uh, actually go take a look at that real quick. Okay. And so let's see, common questions. Yeah, so, yep, that's all about whitening teeth, yes. Yeah, so, what we can do is, so you want us to focus um, um, more on the cos cosmetic, um, yeah, like the smile design. Okay, so smile design, new teeth, dental implants. So, what we'll do is draft up a frequently asked questions that focuses more on cosmetic dentistry, dental yeah. implants, new teeth, smile design, all of that. Yes, and you said that um, you could take some of that information off that magazine article? Yes. So I know we get a lot of patients that ask, you know, how long does it usually take to get veneers or what's the veneer process, things like that too. Yes, definitely. So whatever information you want us to incorporate into the new FAQ, definitely shoot it to us in an email. Okay. Yep. And if there are obviously consistent questions that you get that you know need to be on here that would be helpful for patients, you know, definitely give us that list and then we can, you know, write it up in a standard format. And, okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. So all, all you really needed to know mostly today was the kind of the layout, the color, the font. Yes, those are the big things and making sure that the basic sections, you know, are correct. The layout is you know, what you like and what color changes might need to be made. So with that in hand, and then certainly get us the updated logo and we'll replace that. So the okay. next the next go around, we'll replace the logo, we'll update the color scheme. Uh, we will probably get this live into a navigation so that these elements are all clickable, which includes putting in mock photos for the gallery and so forth. Um, so once we get these next round of changes done, it'll kind of take a little more form and be a little more interactive so you can actually see how the navigation elements work. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then if, um, I mean, if you want to give me a date to when you need kind of extra stuff from me, the pictures, the before and afters and things like that. Yeah, definitely. I'll have Megan uh, give you a schedule and, and make sure that you give, we give you enough advance notice to kind of pull that all together. So, yeah. Okay. Um, all right, sounds good. And then also another thing, I guess, on that mock-up four, um, I know some of them had more of the social media icons, and this one just had, like, the Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn. Yes, uh-huh. Uh, I don't know if they're all of them. Were, I think the other one had maybe. So mock-up three had five of them. Mock-up two, let's see, has six of them. And yeah, mock-up 
kind of all of those. Yeah, so we can do them like, do you like them like this in color? So there's six um, of them here, or do you yeah. like them? Jan yeah, I know Janine made a comment earlier that she liked the color. <laughs> okay, that's good. So yeah, we can do as many, you know, logos as you want. And typically what's going to happen, um, just to give you kind of a frame of reference, let me show you, you know, how we do it just so, uh, new teeth, one day. Um, what we really don't want to do is actually try and motivate people to go off your website. We actually want to keep them there. So this is a client out of New Jersey. You can see in the upper right corner, the icons here, but you can actually see the link. It goes to what's called the social media profile. And so whichever one you click on, it still stays on the site and it goes to a page where we list all of your, you know, social media profiles. And we'll do the same oh, thing with yours. So the secondary page will actually show a whole bunch of your social media links and it'll allow them to go out to there. So whatever, you know, your Google Places page is, what your listing on Yelp is, your insider pages will have direct links to that from this page. So if they want to go do, you know, a patient testimonial or a review on Google Places, they'll be able to. Um, but it'll be directly from your website instead of the very first one going directly off to Facebook or something like yeah. that. No, that's yeah, that's neat. Okay. All right. Hang on. Janine just walked in. Let me see if she has any. Uh, did you want to add anything else? Okay. I just went over what we did earlier. Okay. She's good. <laughs> okay. So, um, all right. <laughs> yeah, I think is that all you needed or? Yeah, unless you had any other comments or any other, you know, um, observations, if there were any other features from the other mock-ups that you liked that you wanted to carry forward, um, you know, there's basically the, you know, the first fold, the second fold bar content, you know, the different sections along here, over here, the recent articles will actually be the blog articles that will continually okay. update. So this will, you know, get active and then... Um, you know, this is the position where we're looking at the social links and we can make six of them in here if you want with, with the colors so we can do okay. that. And then yeah. I know it, we haven't gotten into the content yet, but we are kind of wondering what was on that very last section. Um, oh, down here? Yeah. Okay, so this will be uh, what, what ends up being your local city pages focus for keywords. So okay. what this relates to is an actual page that when somebody types in, so let me show you here what happens. So when somebody types in dental implants, uh, Newport Beach, our goal is to have you ranked both for, you know, the local Google Places page in here, so the map listings that show up, but okay. also in here for that specific page. So we have to create a specific page from this link so dental implants newport beach will be a specific landing page that will have content written about doing dental implants for residents in newport beach and you know people who are coming from newport beach that are looking for new teeth or smile design or things of that nature and the goal is to get that page ranked in this search result right and you can okay. see there's a hundred and six thousand pages of content that have been indexed for that specific keyword phrase so it's very competitive that means uh -huh. there's 106,000 pages of competitors trying to get to be number one in this spot here. And our goal is to get you into this first page so that you get, you know, good traffic and new leads coming through. And so that's the whole goal behind all this. Oh. Okay. So that's what that last section for. Yeah. Then. Yeah. So these down here are purely related to driving keywords from these specific local cities. Okay. Okay. Good. Yep. And I can show you that again here on uh, New Teeth One Day because um, they're focused in New York and Manhattan and so forth. So you can see here we have, you know, cosmetic dentist in Manhattan. So when you click on that specific page, it takes you to a page about that particular topic. Oh. Um, so that just gives you an idea of how it's, you know, what the purpose is. So here we're talking about, you know, cosmetic dentist in Manhattan, uh, lays it all out and talks about you know, where it is and so forth. And then this page gets, you know, specifically ranked for that, um, that keyword phrase. Okay. 
Okay, so that's what this section down here is about. Okay, got yeah. it. Alrighty, any other questions? So much. Cool, so we will get to uh, the second round here. Um, I'll have an update for you shortly as far as I, you know, we'll take the notes from this. Megan will communicate the notes to you. If there's any changes on it, definitely, you know, give us your feedback and make sure we have the notes correct. And then we'll give you an estimated time to do the turnaround for the next mock-up. Okay. Alrighty. All right. All right. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Lisa. We'll talk to you soon. Okay. Alrighty. Bye. Bye-bye.